Lil Nas X is catching heat after posting a series of tweets making fun of his COVID-19 diagnosis. Let's get into it. Along with his chart-topping hits, Lil Nas X has carved a name for himself in the entertainment industry by pushing the limits with his trolling ways. And it seems not even catching COVID can put a damper on his particular brand of humour. On Friday, Lil Nas X revealed to fans that he was experiencing some of the symptoms associated with the virus in a string of since-deleted tweets that were met with lots of criticism online. He actually kicked things off by celebrating that his hit single Montero Call Me By Your Name made it onto Barack Obama's list of favourite music, movies and books of 2021, writing, Started running around the house in excitement when I saw this. Then I remembered I have COVID, lol. He then confirmed he had COVID, tweeting, Now that I'm sure I won't die from COVID, I will now begin making mildly funny jokes about having it. It turns out Lil Nas X was scheduled to perform at this year's Jingle Bell Ball in London two weeks ago, but it was announced at the very last minute that he and the band Coldplay had to drop out of the event after members of their respective teams tested positive for the virus. After apologising to his fans for not being able to perform, Lil Nas had remained pretty silent about the whole situation, that is, until he decided to start joking about it. In another tweet he wrote, I'm not sure whether I've had the Omarion or Alicia Keys variant of COVID, but this has not been a fun journey. As you guys can probably tell, Lil Nas compared the rapidly spreading Omicron variant to singer Omarion. Moments later, Lil Nas came back for more, tweeting, I only talk to people who have COVID now. You non-COVID need to shut the F up. Us COVIDers run this shit. And just in case that wasn't controversial enough, Lil Nas topped it all off with a TMI not safe for work tweet that read, COVID really sucks. Last night I was trying to watch porn, then I sneezed snot all over penis, LMAO. Yep, Lil Nas X really took it there. Several Twitter users called him out for making light of the situation, like this person who tweeted, Too bad, this isn't a topic of joke when more than 800,000 or more people have died. While another person tweeted, You shouldn't make jokes about a virus that killed millions of people, as well as sharing they lost their parents to the virus a month ago. However, some Lil Nas fans also came to his defense, like this user who responded to an earlier tweet writing, I don't get this sentiment. Humor is how a lot of people cope with trauma. Saying you can't joke about one trauma, but you can joke about others makes no sense. While other people started calling for the rest of the Jingle Ball tour to be cancelled, pointing out that Doja Cat also caught COVID, as did members of Megan Thee Stallion and the Jonas Brothers teams. Well, all the complaints did not go unnoticed, as iHeartRadio actually cancelled Jingle Ball stop in Florida scheduled for this past Sunday due to the increased transmission of the new variant and to further minimise any potential risks. We wish Lil Nas X, Doja Cat and all those affected with COVID a very speedy recovery. And please stay safe out there, you guys, especially during the holiday season. Now go ahead and click right over here for all the details on Billie Eilish's COVID-19 experience. After that, let me know your thoughts on Lil Nas X's tweets in the comments section below. I'm your girl, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.